Today we check out a teardown tool so powerful that it can vaporize absolutely anything and everything, from the enemy NPCs, the static objects, and even a tank. And this weapon is the Atomizer, added in by the Atomizer mod, link to that in the description of this video. And as I said, this weapon is capable of vaporizing anything. So all you have to do is left click, and what you shoot will immediately turn to dust. From glass, to ceilings, however this weapon doesn't work on static objects. As if I try and vaporize this building, I won't be able to vaporize anything. However, a door is marked as non-static, as I am able to vaporize that. So if you need to vaporize something that is static, you're going to have to make it non-static, generally by destroying it, because all the random debris can be vaporized by the Atomizer. And this Atomizer is one of the few weapons that can kill invincible NPCs, such as the Armored Mech. The Armored Mech is capable of withstanding a direct hit from a rocket launcher. However, with the Atomizer, you will be able to begin to vaporize the mech until it is no longer able to do damage, and then turn it to absolute dust. Ultimately, the main part that needs to be vaporized will be the head, as that is where the bullets come from. So once the head is vaporized, then you just have to take out the guns, and once those are gone, the robot is technically harmless. And then when vaporizing vehicles, vehicles can either be made of a single part or multiple parts. On a single part vehicle, all you have to do is shoot the vehicle, and its main body will disappear, however the wheels will stay in place, as the wheels cannot be vaporized. However, with a multiple part vehicle, you'll be able to vaporize part of the vehicle, and the vehicle will still be completely mobile and functioning. You'll have to vaporize all the different parts of the vehicle in order to completely turn it to dust. And then when dealing with a super crazy vehicle like a tank, it's going to take more than one or two shots, because you have to get rid of the head, and then you have to get rid of all the internal components of the head. And then the main body will generally disappear completely, and thus will also result in a lot of explosions as all of the ammunition begins to detonate. But there will still be some parts of the tank remaining, resulting in it taking even more vaporizations in order to completely destroy the tank. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Also, go check out the Discord server and subscribe to this mod. Links to both is in the description below. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day.